you did a big right edge and a right sweep, so you went up, but you want to hit the water flattening off to allow it to keep moving. I grew up in a small country town and learnt to paddle with my family and then with a school canoeing program that my dad ran. I just loved sort of having fun with friends and feeling like part of a big family. That's what I tried to bring to the program here. Hi, I'm Rose Lawrence. I'm in the National Canoe Slalom Team and I started the Junior Development Program here in Western Sydney. So as the Junior Development Officer, I started the program from scratch. I went out to schools and found kids to be involved and kind of really tried to build a sort of club community feeling. It was quite rewarding to see kids enjoying their progress and making new friends. Ros is a, a long-term athlete in the senior team with Paddle. Um, she's competed across Europe, she understands fully the sport, so that knowledge to pass down to our younger athletes is huge. And our younger athletes understand that, so when, that, when Ros speaks it's really meaningful and they can really see what, what point she's making. So for the future of the sport, her, her commitment and her, her work is, is, is really important. As your bow comes down, you need to flatten it off so it skims over the top of Running the, the junior development program had its challenges in terms of balancing it with my own training, um, travelling overseas as well. In the beginning, you know, you start young kids and they're paddling once or twice or three times a week, but as they progress, they're taking on more and more of a training load. Travelling overseas, my hours dropped back a little bit and I was really lucky that the whole slalom team basically became involved in coaching and helping out with the junior program. So they've been putting in hours and hours of work helping out and they're incredible role models for the kids. I've been really lucky to work with a group of quite involved coaches and staff who understand the need for athletes to be engaged in these activities. What we need to do sometimes is just join the dots between those so that athletes understand how uh, their performance skills can be of benefit to their career skills um, and how we can sell those skills to potential future employers. We're hugely proud of Rosa's achievements over a few years as an athlete, but more so in the work she's done to develop uh, young athletes. But she's also developed a local club in Penrith. So it's kind of a legacy that she's given back to the sport, which obviously adds to the future of what we do. All the kids in the program have done really well. We've got quite a bunch on the National Development Squad now and in the Western Sydney Academy of Sport, which is wonderful. And they're all very supportive of each other and working hard. So. It's great to see the progress and yeah, watch this spot. There'll be more on junior team in future years, I'm sure.